Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Talk to the Camera with me, Munati Suma. The National Drug Abuse Law Enforcement Agency, together with the Sierra Leone Police Community Relations Department, with the Local Police Partnership Board, they on the street of Freetown for do an engagement on sensitization against drug abuse, lawlessness, and rape against women and girls within them in the country. So continue for day with me as we can get an interview with them and make them tell we what in this engagement all day about. No nodding, no sleeping, no nodding. If we catch you to sleep, we arrest you. We catch you tired, we arrest you. We catch you to talk to them and then get out of the room. We arrest you. We have one of our sisters. We say no to push. We say no to push. You guys should become president of this country if you learn the book and get the requirements. If you guys should be honorable of this country if you learn and get the requirements. You guys should be honorable. You guys should be bank governor. You guys should be minister. You guys should be all other general managers. Then. But if you take push, you don't destroy your system. You bring them box up. You don't go ahead to hold them positions in there. You go just sit down. Even your family not going to get respect for you. So brothers and sisters, today we say no to push. You want to buy brother, say no to push. Because if you take push, the accident will get. You want to get rider, say no to push. Because if you take push, with the passengers, they always they come back to get the accident. You put the boat or they die. You want to drive, you want to drive. You for stop all the things in there. Come to this interview, sir. Tell me your name, your position, and waiting on the Dunaya so today. Me na ASP Michael Sise. Me na the Regional Community Coordinator of Freetown West. We did that this morning for the general sensitization in respect of Kush. We na one pan the hard drugs there. Then two lawlessness, antisocial behavior, mob justice, domestic violence, and the rest of it. Now make we there this morning for talk to the general populace about what they're going to the country in offer. And two, election time not there fight again. Now now they say when you fail for plan, you go fail. And now with a plan so that we're able to get peaceful election come 2023. And now with they tell people and say violence not fine. For take the law now your hands not fine. When you take the law now your hands, you don't commit an offense. Right. So Osai and Osai on the target for do this engagement here. This engagement now the entire Freetown West. Meaning we get six divisions there now. The Freetown West. We don't do an Lomle, we begin last week Monday now Lomle. Wednesday will be there Central, Friday will be there Godrich, and today, this Monday, we then a mountain division. We then start from old school, we then go as far as Magegba. For we'll go and talk to people, uh, which Shrelenian brothers and sisters there. Let them see reason, let them come up behind this drug, where they call Kush. More especially where they kill and destroy young people, uh, where they get potential, future leaders uh, of tomorrow. Right. So, as security forces, how una don see say una don able for minimize the way how people and they import these drugs na this country. One, we they start first from the consumers there. When we target, when we target the consumers there, the importers there, then they na easy thing for catch there. But other than the use and force, and then force we they target because now they they affect, now they they kill, now they now they they destroy, they destroy them future. So if we don't start with the wire force, and what would they do is this general sensation, they go worldwide, because we don't say the media there, SABC there, AIV there, Star Television there, they say they cover up. Then, then the thing they go worldwide, you understand? So how we don't see them one on one with them drugs intake as they are, for me they tell them the reason why I make for them they intake these drugs. Oh well, we know you will wait for me to meet them one by one. 
for say with it. Why they take this this drug? Waiting at the reason. But we know say one for curiosity. Somebody they go into drugs because he want no waiting there inside the drugs. Because of curiosity, he will go inside the two be an influence. If you they take me now you me now you body, me they take you know they take, I go influence you for take. Failure. When somebody don't don't consider himself, say don't fail in life, he don't go into drugs. Media influence because he they read the advert over television, over news, that go influence somebody for take. And there are so many reasons why person they go into drugs. So we don't see instances where in security forces, both police and to German, then they abuse drugs and we don't see the news all over the media where in the person they in the position of duty in, in the sleep pain safe. How I don't try for address the issues there where they go on at the security forces. Now one of the way then this how they address this tier so where they among both the police and the military. But action has been taken against them people and they. So I'm not going to comment too much about that. Right. How do I expect the outcome for be about this sensitization and this engagement when they do right now? Uh, I think say, the message will go. Because if you were with yourself, what would they, what would they interview me so self? I know say, the message will go. Because not to one game person get for your area, it will go worldwide. And because it will go worldwide, people will know say, yes, the Sierra Leone Police Force, NDLA, LPPB, and other organizations, then they in for fight drugs and other lawlessness in Sierra Leone. So we don't hear it over um, people, people and they talk, say, oh, no sleeping, no nodding. So for, for an instance, we are in, you go meet person in the sleep, find safe, we are in, not so out of drugs, make in the sleep, then you arrest them. How una una go assess that particular instance? Well, when somebody don't take something out for no, if I don't drink juice now, if I don't talk to you, the rum stand will come up on me. Natural sleeping or nodding is quite different from the way they take drugs. It's quite different. There are differences. Where they not natural one, a way they take drugs. Because if they nod, pit the commoner you want, you open you want, maybe you want, that they should say, example, say, you don't take something, you ain't able to control. And the thing they control you now. So we're going to arrest them people and they will they sleep by themselves in the streets. What do they do them? The law they take him because simple as that. What's not the punishment for them in simple terms? Well, there, there is a law where they are against drugs abuse in Sierra Leone. When are the national law, when are the national law, drug law enforcement act, where penalty they, where they catch you. Now I'm not going to tell you the penalty. Because you don't taste small, I don't come this. So I'm not going to tell you the penalty. Right, for crown always you don't talk, waiting now you find out statements where you go left out to the public, sir. I just say, let we abstain from violence. Low low left for take hard drugs, not to only kush na hard drugs. There are so many other drugs they wait and then ask you alone. But I kush no more don't they on top. But other drugs then they where people don't know, like LSD, methamphetamine, amphetamine, uh, cannabis, crack, cocaine, and the rest of it. All and then they let them avoid for take them because then they are not fine. It will destroy you. If you lack yourself, you're not going to take something for destroy yourself. Because we not lack yourself, now you make could take something for destroy yourself. So they are allowed to try for lack yourself first. My brothers and sisters, they allowed to try for lack we first, lack yourself first, before you go able to do any other thing. You'll avoid drugs. Drugs not fine. And drugs, it's no child's play. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Mr. Momo Ajatsi Bangua. I'm the local police partnership of Chiamana Mountain Division. Today is a wonderful day for me and my own division because cut across the six regions, them, we be done raise awareness campaign on drugs, especially Kush, lawlessness, and rape at the different, different divisions there inside the Western region. But today, now the day when we host an amount in division. So they also for talk to the young people them and the big people as well because they call and say big man drug. But this drug here, it don't they lead people them to madness. What's not this drug where they talk about? This drug in name Kush. Kush, now the drug where they talk about. Kush, some of we don't see the effects, even though some people are not see it. 
But now a brown powder where they put some small paper. When they're ready for smoke this kusha, then they buy cigarettes, then bog the cigarette, then take the tobacco away inside, then put on a one leaf frizzler, then then spray the powder on them, then they begin smoking. When they smoke them, in no minutes you go see some of them the 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 the, the performance like a arata, like we don't give poison to arata. Where the where the poison the arata in belly the arts where they come out out, you can't snap open one. It's turning here, something they, they turn around it for them. If they go down, you they see in Bele, if they all in Bele, if they go down like say they for them, if they stiff, you know they able to buy himself again. And these drugs, you don't they kill who picking them, our brother in this community. So as regional chairman of this community, how you don't engage the community people and sensitize them about the effect of these drugs that we really talk about, apart from this engagement, when are they do so? Um, well, first of all, we don't call several mini, mini, mi, meetings then with the stakeholders and at the division. We don't talk to them, we don't explain to them about the effects of the drugs. And we tell them, say, they all confess, say, then they see them. Because why then they see the performance? After we don't consume the drug, they see the effects. It's nodding and sleeping and they all over. So we don't talk to them. We say, we they raise awareness campaign on drugs, but in all do, for less sustainable, then we not achieve them and the village helps them, therefore always they do one at the community there. Whenever they want to do one, let them collaborate with we, with the local police partnership board and the Sierra Leone police, so that to go help them for continuing to sensitize them. And before this thing they happen, before they raise this campaign, the police call we on a meeting with the local police partnership board members them. They tell we say, let we go back, let we go tell who people them, because they get forgotten massively on drugs. The one they in the brand can this country, the one they in the consumer, they see you they sleep, then they arrest you. Then see you they nod, then they arrest you. Then see you, you they sell them, you they go jail. So therefore, we self say, okay, now we can raise this awareness campaign where we go able hits at the different, different, different communities them for telling them, say, now this is the police don't plan. Oh. So if you know what's good for you, you let yourself, or if now you go that they take them, you let, you let them, advice and let stop. Because if you don't stop, even though it's detrimental, they kill them. But police get for the old them. Where they meet and they sleep, they meet and they, 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 they nod. From the engagements that Una don't do, waiting Una don't get her as, uh, you know, regional forces them as the main cause of this kush intake in our communities. Yeah, well, where they engage the one then, especially where they consume them, then tell we say, they say the stress too much on them. So now I make them, they take this thing away, then take them, then they're able for rest, then they're able for waiting and call, you know, then they're able for enjoy themselves. But we they continue for telling them, say, it's not good, because they waste your time, they make them lost focus. You as youth man, by this time, where you come in and they go to school or where they learn work, they used to don't sleep by yourself. The time they go, at the end of the day, you're not going for benefits. But unemployment is now one of the causes, so I make for Boku youths, where then they idle, then they, then they tend for misuse, then time and the energy also. So how when I don't try for engage the government, for make them provide skilled job or, you know, other forms of platform, the way they go able to engage themselves so that they not go engage in this drugs intake when they do. Well, for engage the government as such, because the government then they get them parasitas and get the civil societies, they always don't engage government for see how best for try for create jobs and, for, and, and work facilities so that at least youth man and go able to engage themselves. But even do, even even so, but who when they were youth man, if you get your common sense, you know say yes. If you don't engage yourself for learn skills and follow a boss man, now see the money you want, you not go benefit you. So even though we believe say even if job day, yes, where job facility day, yes, now a small number go there on but still yet they go there on So now make could engage on sensitization for continue for talk to them. Let them see reason that this drug not good. That time where they waste for yourself. Just imagine if they continue to wait till they see on our social media and wait till they see visibly at the communities that they continue with this smoking for the next five years, we're not going to get you to man that we go able for Uli tomorrow. So for crown all the way till you don't say whose message you will left out to the public and the people that they watch you right now. Well the message you are left to the community people them and say all say all since we all are we are say this drug is not good. Now we want to pick in them. Let we talk to them. Let we continue for talk to them. Let we learn. If we happen at churches, if we happen at the mosque, if we happen anywhere, let them preach this message. Let them continue for tell people them. Say the drugs is a kill. It's a kill and they waste your time. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you to you. You're welcome. My name is Mbawari Station. What do they do now this community? I'm the head of security in this community, in this community. You don't see say police and they engage 
people learn and they raise awareness about drugs abuse, especially on the Kush young young man and they take now. So tell me what now you don't take about this. Mr. Not Gladdy, because they misuse the drug, not what I mean. They, they misbehave too much, Mr. Not Gladdy. But I think the policeman don't care inside. We said they talk to you, it's money now. Make everybody step down, which is the department. Get me? Go self, why make everybody go? And most of the man they want job. They say most of the way they take drugs so and say they don't get job. Stress. They get stress. Get me? We will talk to them now because I still don't care with the awareness to it. We will talk to them now, meaning self aware, see, it's bad. So, as the head of the youth man, then at this place, why you think for say youth man and they take these drugs and how, whose effect in the get on them? It damage them, they damage themselves, get me. But me know we will stop them because we bond them. But it damage them, it's not like where they take them, get me. So, it's what you want to make government do for now as youth man, then I ask so. Make it for the job facilities, meaning self people. Get job, job then, then maybe, then. maybe no they will less. But we I don't plenty, so so man they get yeah, we'll less. What I don't mean, we will take drug <laughs> and they get away. You <laughs> not think for say even if job facility day, but all way they don't, then they provide for them job. You not think for say they will still engage by this kush business because as some people they don't addicted to. Now government put things in place. Maybe, going to me get them, they will left. Go get something for do. You no go hide the cash, no take drug. Larry Fraff, forget me. Maybe they will left because the job day. Oh, I really get, can, can't take drug, free drug. Get me? That's good. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, good, good morning. This is uh, Samir Duba. I'm uh, a core drug educator for the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. So, wait, what are they doing now? So, today, now this is what The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency partner with the LPPB when the local policing partnership board and the Sierra Leone Police the Force for Good for do a nationwide campaign especially for the Western Division and against drug, particularly push, we don't become a menace to the youth stem of this nation. As a drug educator, now this agency where they talk about how una don't try for CC una engage youth them for talk to them about why then they misuse drugs in this country. Well, uh, in the first of most case, this is now one of the platforms that we don't use for engage youth them. But besides this, we don't they get several other engagements them. We don't they get school to school campaigns. We don't they get uh, attire based youth campaign. We don't they get Okada youth campaign. We don't get different different campaigns and at different different areas them and different different sets of youth engagement them towards the education of the harmful use of drugs and the effects that we get on the youth stem of this country. From the several engagements your own adult held, what one I don't get as so far as the main cause of drug abuse? Well, uh, drug abuse of itself, people can feel say no more saying a harmful drug no more than abuse. Uh, even Panadol, when I Panadol, when I counter over drug, uh, now drug then that way people can abuse. Uh, tramadol, where it will be used for pain or severe pain, people that abuse them. And we get so many other drugs and we people that abuse. So we they look at drugs personally or generally where any set of youths then get the tendency for misuse or abuse in society. Um, waiting don't bring the focus on the squish as the lamplight drug where we all raise awareness on uh, because of it has so much tendency for reduce the youth stem potential in a society and for it will make them become more and more vulnerable even for themselves and the society as a whole. And when we look at the dangers of this particular kush, the productivity rates of the youth man them not going to be realized because come to look at it, every country depends on the youth population as the backbone for development. So if that particular backbone don't cease, it will go down the drain and would I be go be the other people that would step into the shoes of the present generation or present youth people that were in a leadership position. Then. So now that don't bring the focus basically for create the awareness and the sensitization for our education for say push a very harmful drug and again the tendency for reduce the growth of youth production as society. So tell me how long this sensitization get for last? 
Well, this sensitization, we hope it not will be a one-off thing because we don't start from last week. Last week, we start from Lombly community, go as far as uh, Aberdeen and other places then. And we take the other day, we start in a central PZ, take all the way, central PZ, up to Mountain Cold, Duazag, uh, New England, Brookfields. So today, uh, the Hilltop community, we uh, from old school year we start the whole process will go down up to I think Regent or Dre. I think that now for the hilltop community. And the other one that we don't do now the western area when it starts from um, Bar Junction up to Laka or um, is it um, Mambo Junction way then do as far as that length day. So we say for follow we see our best we will push at this far. And we hope it not will just be a one-off, but for let it be a continue something. Because drug fights are equally like any pandemic where government need to put attention to because of the productivity of the youth that we talk about. Because we need people then for step into the shoes of the leaders then presently. Because come what may, we need the people there, then youth there. Myself, my youth, man, youth, man. Imagine if I not be getting that kind of education, the myself don't fall a victim for say I forget myself involved into taking drugs. So waiting at the outcome we when I expect at the end of the day? Well uh, positive outcome in a sense for le you yagi don't say and down um old school and uh, you see some of the youths man then begin to even talk say hey, a better would don't know because some man out of ignorance when they talk to some man they say hey this drug are not be there now people they carry them inside and the people they carry them inside now they make with they get access to them yes it is true they, they carry them but if you self say no to ram then it is like you know they give the courage to the person for continue for carry them but because of you self embrace them they carry them they, they take them then then they, then they make the person they get the tendency for continue for carry them but we don't get some reliable source for tell we see these particular drugs, we get people that we say inside this country where they make themselves because we don't get people where they confess to it because we office doors always open to use them for referral process, them for counseling, for help them for do withdrawal from this uh, drug addiction. And so we get people where they can do confessions and where they tell me some day they even make up from this Kumbe Jara. Kumbe Jara now one leaf where they can plant the house, then where they say, now for girl snake. May not snake no kind of house. And that now one of the drugs that they come, one of the leaves that they the confess in the use for make this tear. And even this a crush crush leaf from um, this Kosho Beach. Kosho Beach as well, we don't get people they confess in one of the leaves that they as well where they use and then get other chemicals like formalin and some man they even tell we say that they even crepe the diamond bone and dust and they put her inside with all that they nothing that we don't get from people where they come for you. And luckily we don't get people who don't successfully go through you uh, they don't go through the casting process and some day like today in a positive case they will visit they tell you say they're not into drugs again and with the CCS yes, the library improve. So we hope for say with this kind of uh, massive sensitization we will get the result for make youth and abstain themselves from taking this particular drug because they know say and not good for their system. Imagine they make them sleep the time imagine today is Monday. If we get a video of people in uh, old school they see some youth man at uh, this Monday morning productive day, then they sleep. Then they sleep. And this is morning, I'll be they engage with somebody where they try for tell me, say, hey, bro, me, uh, they don't even go to me, Ghana, they don't flush this thing for me, but I still don't know why make they go to RAM. It's all about withdrawal and we get what you call relapse in the withdrawal process. And not me say somebody relapse, it means say the withdrawal process is not successful. But it just means say, like, like the person no able to get a mind on your own or to some extent, if you tempted again, peer pressure and all that things they make back a kind to run. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh,
Uh, me come up, Kaila, I did have for a purpose. But we are on the this Alva, so we go on concerned about a drug, so they call Kuz. And we know say the community where they represent like Kaila. This is something we don't make it for affected young, 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 but about the young girls and women they between the age of 10 to 17 years of age. And even above, some elderly people they take away, look at and say, they even make the key over passport for sleep. I mean, I had passion here. This is only create a bakuti. If they see young, young, but about they go chuck in daddy, if they chuck in mama. Why you think for say youth man and they take this push away they talk about? Um, some people they look at they do them because of they say a profit gain because if you look at a small part that they sell on ten thousand twenty thousand because of that one then I do listen that most of them know it wise they can just take these particular drugs for do some have uh, 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 bad things and within the society. Whose benefit you think for say then they get from this intake of drugs? Um, me they just they try for tell the young ones you know, or we come them for let them try for stop take this particular drugs. It's not good for a human being. It will even make you not go live to the expectation, the lifespan go shorter, it will even make it come on bad. You see? And they try for acts whose benefits where then they get, where then they take this push. Oh, me although me not they take on, but they can look at and say the benefits out of them, um, it can make them think wise, but the wise way they can think of them. Um, you know, they make no sense. You know, go make no sense to them because past the mother can put a threat to the community as well as stakeholders. You see, like Kailan, where we did, then they are a threat to the communities because they can even go tip other people in property as they don't take these particular uh, drugs. When I cruise, like Tramador, you see, uh, Pampa Swata, you see, uh, Dizipan, that is it. So what do you want to make government do for them people here yeah, where they suffer from this intake of push? I mean, the first thing we are going to let government take proactive action on them, um, the one the way they can import these particular drugs, that they first if try for target, at the same time, it puts a ban to all the ones that they get to sell as in, and the other ones the way they can look at and say, this is not a profit making, not a profit making. They try for, let me say, play with generations coming up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Jawad Amadou from Kailan. Well, me, I'm then the Vimbriwa, Nakake Arega, anyway. Lady Drugs here, where they don't come to the country, are they big, me come to youth man then? They don't destroy a lot of youth man then. So, do you have to take up big then? Men are left for take the cushion, not to drugs where they come for help with the young man then. It is destroy them fixture. We don't see Boku. We don't see someone who come to the young man then. We don't see someone who come to the young man then. So my don't get by for him, so we don't camp at the uh, drugs business, the kush. It don't destroy him fixture. Why you think for certain they take kush? Well, to me, you know, it don't make sense. Because me, like, I don't smoke and I don't drink, it don't make sense to me. Oh my God, you know, they take care. But some, some people can't see where they don't take care. They see them, some people take care, and I don't know where they know they sleep. By himself, you know, get nice. So my can't even sleep with him, and put it on his hand. So to me, you know, it don't make sense to me. And we don't see bike riders there, people are really right, keke. They take kush, and this go gets a great effect on the people away in the ride, and also on your own life. So tell me, whose advice you go are left to the people away where they ride keke and bike where they take kush? Well, me your advice for for the people there are more like commercial rider there, like keke rider, bike rider. Are they big then? Do ya anybody get plan for yourself? Do ya the big one? Low left kush, kush is a poly fixture. I beg me the big then, low left then. As for me on side, and they smoke and they drink, me are okay. But I advise them, more time what they do, how the country they go now. No member yesterday, remember tomorrow, what thing will be the buy like a buy in days, not to buy cap and honest in days, and the mother in days back, not to buy a long member tomorrow back. So if you know me better plan for yourself tomorrow, again for a fetch you picking then. You go left you picking tomorrow, then the strain at the end. So make plan, let left foundation for you picking it tomorrow and buy a lot for you. Thank you very much. I'm Mina Mohamed Toure. Right now, um, what's this? Uh, call it that. I'm at. I do this way. Mina Eastern Adi. The reason be all that uh, where some man they take kush, they take kush. Some man say for make kill stress. I stress some man can kill. I make some man they take kush. Hey, but you not feel to say that morning. What then they take for t for buy kush? Don't do for make them start business. Well, yeah, I feel so. That money work you take for buy kush. If you get that no more, so am able to do business there, really. Yes. So who's benefit? Who are they get? Who are they take this kush? How are they feel? Who are they take the kush? 
Well, now they only benefit and they want to so some man say for kill stress. Now you benefit, some man benefit, and then they. Mm. So, how una want for make una life better way una they take push at this crucial stage of una life? Well, like when I don't count this, so pass to get for stuff or take a number before we go able better because really push the pearl money. Yeah, not too fun. Kush the goats, but come on. Yes. So wait till now want my government do for now as you demand it. Okay, government, wait till I can miss wait till I want my government do for we. Men and stop for um the only way they count the kush inside the country, men and stop the men left for count the kush inside the country. Now that's what I let government do for we. Men and stop for count at the country. Because if they stop for count, if you we'll not get a for go buy again, we'll not they buy. Kush no day, we not go able go buy kush. We not able fly now go America go buy kush or count and go other country go buy kush or count. But then say una self can make kush with uh, on una own. Well, then they pass no more than lie. Do I owe they make now? No proper. So man not they buy. We not they buy. Do I owe they make for ourselves now? You not comfortable for ourselves. Pass the where they count, where they ship, where they fly with the count and at the country now. Now of it for go they buy. Why would they produce so we self now and not proper? So from this day onward, you don't promise any day they push again? Um, for me, I don't only get the end up. Yes, I don't only get that from last, last month. Now I left for smoke and now I know they smoke again. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You are welcome. My name is William Saul Amin. Of course, people they know me for being civil society activist. But me and the Western, West, Freetown West Regional Chairperson for the Local Police Partnership Board. So tell me whose engagement are they doing so today? Well, we they try to sensitize the community across Freetown about uh, key issues. One get for do with the Kush. We we'll find out say young people in the serious they involve into this Kush business and we feel say they destroy themselves. So we they do a tour across the city for sensitize people them, more especially young people them for go for go out of this Kush business. We also do something on the uh, campaign where the first lady they do, when the hands of our girls, we will see matured people. They rape picking a widow under five years. It's so heart rending. So down there again, a part of the campaign. The campaign got for do with lawlessness and indiscipline. The campaign got for do the 2023 election. We will get for get into very soon. We will see people and get for begin to choke themselves. Politicians and get for give drugs to young people, them, you know. Party then get for rise against party for fight each other and then get for kill people and who knows if that get for happen only they wish for that. So these are some of the things that we're far ahead of the elections. Who they out on the streets, where they do a street parade, where they use the PA system for talk to them, for make them stop for take this kush. Why you think for say you man and they take this kush yes? Well, me not feel say any good reason they wouldn't give why didn't they take kush. Some people they say that they take kush because they frustrate their job not they. But I don't feel the way you take Kush. That girl for be the solution for making you get a job. But you don't feel to say if government provide an avenue for them, the Kush business could be minimized? There is no 100% avenue, any partner the world. But you yourself get for be sober and say when well, you don't mature, you don't pass 18 years, you got to find something for do. If you go to the garage for go learn for make Okada, Keke, Motoka, you go must learn for six months, one year, and at the end of the day, you go be independent for take care of yourself. But one thing observe now, young people didn't say they want job. But what is that the job where they learn, then the other issue. They don't learn work, but they say they want work. So there is no excuse about people where they take drugs, where they take kush, they say because they don't get work, because the economy don't turn out, so therefore they take kush. In fact, they do more harm than good. Where they take the kush, they destroy itself more now, because if you were government, they lobby for make donor partners and kind of country, for make them bring investors for open factories. If you young man they employ in that factory, the way you go look in a sleepy they sleep. What thing they do? Then they sack you at the end of the day. So the drugs where they take don't get any way for help you. So you where they sell them, you where they take them, we don't launch campaign against them. Say so no nodding, no sleeping. When next come, young man for go and host for go sleep. Any young man who's in a street after today, you don't a street, you they nod, you they sleep. We see you here red pass mark, we arrest you. Either you go ten years jail or you pay ten million years fine. So what if in an instance we are in person, sit down by himself in the sleep, where not to out of kush make intake in the sleep? Sit down by himself in the sleep, the yard red, we they go test you. We they test you for final say that ordinary sleep in the sleep. But me believe say if somebody don't go sleep by eight o'clock night, 
say seven o'clock in the morning. There is no way seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning you begin sleep. Automatic, we don't say something wrong. We don't see police officers that they take kush. We don't see soldier man they take kush. We don't see Okara rider. They come out on top of Okara here, Okara they fall down together. Keke rider they left in key, people they pull the key, all the money they don't work for, they didn't pull in their pocket because they sleep. You know, so this is very serious. Enough for only be a free, free town campaign. This campaign should be a national campaign because these youth they would look up say tomorrow they for be leader, tomorrow they for be councillor, tomorrow they for be members of parliament and even president or ministers. Most of now that they in Kush, where the time reach that where they go take up, where they for take up leadership, then system all on collapse. Mind you, these uh, drugs where they take now things they cook drugs the way people they take for put pan diamond for make you know go rotting, you know diamond bone and all that. Now they put together where this Kush people they take. So before they're 25, they are done. We don't talk to a medical person say, anybody don't take kush within six months to now. Now they live in cops. Now first way they die. What's, what's the mechanism when I don't put in place for ensure say the people where they import the drugs at this country are not able for, you know, sit to that, say they're not able for cow with me, cow today in you know, this country? We they try for monitor, even the one that where they sell the drugs and the one that where they cow the drugs at this country. But they tell you for free. If every Sierra Leonean decides say, they know they buy kush. How the kush to sell? How you go get money for go buy back? Now the borders. So we alone get up to 150 porous borders. Border the whole security, not the over 150 between Saloon and Guinea. Where people they fly in the road and they would bike with motorbike, not even motorcar. Security is not enough for the day. So you got for secure yourself. If you not buy drugs, drugs not go sell. The whole they carry with them, they go lost this, they no carry with them again. But yet still, they run after the one they carry with them and the one they take them. Message you are left out for crown all the way to don't talk. So. The message you are for left out that for let young people come up from these drugs. Not a solution about the economy, not to the solution about job no day. In fact, they add more problem to yourself. We are getting to the 2023 elections. Then reckless politicians. We are using this opportunity for talk to them. That not only give drugs to possible for let go vote for you, then go make everything will be okay for you. Rather they destroy the society. So the politicians get into 2023. Let them stop for giving drugs to young people. Them. Let young people them stay away from drugs. Mature people then stop for rape. We picking them. If we do this, they will get a better Sierra Leone. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Viewers, as not only seen from the different security forces that we present here, so today say. Drug abuse they get a dangerous effect on the youth population and also the country at large. So therefore you don't make law say anybody where in the cage they sleep or not in the street, they go to jail for ten years. It man they also don't point out say then they take drugs because they don't get work for do and then they do and because they want to kill the stress where they feel. Therefore they call on governments for provide avenue for them. So today we meet again for bringing on interesting stories that really happen across Salon. Me and I'm going to and this is talk to the camera with the say tata. <laughs>